In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process on how I've converted this car ignition coil in a high voltage power supply driven by mains voltage. After I made a little bit of research and tested the coil with a multimeter, I've deduced the internal schematic which consists on two coils that shares a common ground. Usually, the low voltage side is fed on DC pulses of 12 volts. This gives on the output a high voltage DC pulse each time the magnetic field collapses, similar on how a flyback transformer would work. In order to get a high voltage AC output, a full bridge inverter circuit must be made and driven with the following command sequence. The dead time between pulses allows the magnetic field to collapse, which creates the high voltage spike on the secondary coil terminals. This is complicated stuff. However, I found a much easier method using this phase angle controller I salvaged from a vacuum cleaner. I've noticed that when the phase triggered angle is kept to the minimum, the waveform resembles the one I have previously drawn. So, in order to make the circuit more compact, I desoldered the linear potentiometer and replaced it with a fixed 560 kilo ohm resistor. This locked the triggering angle to the minimum value. Alright, time to test it. For better control, I put a switch and the one microfarad capacitor in series with the mains power side, which limits the current through a capacitive impedance of 3.2 kilo ohms. By adding another 1 microfarad capacitor in parallel, the impedance decreases to 1.6 kilo ohms, however, with no big difference in performance, except maybe some unwanted high voltage contronations. At this point, I decided to replace those two 1 microfarad capacitors with a single 25 microfarad capacitor, which decreases the impedance all the way down to 122 ohms, decrease any further and will damage the coil windings. I have noticed that this big capacitor can hold a dangerous charge even after 10 minutes of break. To avoid accidents, I decided to solder a 5.3 kilo ohms 10 watt bleed resistor, which will discharge the capacitor in a matter of seconds after use. I have also tried to fix the contronation problem by replacing the screw with a wire and fill the space around it with hot glue. Furthermore, I've stacked multiple layers of heat shrink tube covering both the outer insulation of the wire and the upper edge of the coil terminal. The main goal was to increase the dielectric strength so much that the only desirable way for electricity to flow would be through the air. This solution has worked to some extent until this happened.
Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for this electrocution mark. If you like this video, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Bye!